6 Best Perennial Flowering Vines and Climbers The Clematis genus includes roughly 300 species of woody-stemmed, profusely blooming plants, and those most frequently used in landscaping are hybrid cultivars rather than species types. Most are climbing vines, but there are also short and bushy types. It is the climbers that have captured the most attention, whether the dramatic hybrids, like the popular Jack Mani and Nellie Moser, the dainty bells of Betty Corning, or the engulfing species vine, Sweet Autumn Clematis. Unlike its bushy cousins, Hydrangea anomala is extremely slow to get started, but there is nothing to beat the sight of a mature specimen in bloom. The variety most common in landscape use is the Petiolar subspecies of H. anomala. It can grow as tall as 50 feet if it has a wall, fence, or large tree for its aerial rootlets to cling to. Unlike other aerial rooting plants, climbing hydrangea grows slowly enough that controlling it is not very difficult. This is a good plant for shady locations, it will tolerate full sun only if the soil is kept very moist. The flowers bear a resemblance to those of shrub hydrangeas, and the dried flower heads and peeling bark give the plant good winter interest. Acabea quinata is an April bloomer that produces spicy-scented, brownish-purple blossoms that hang like pendants. Even after the flowers fade, the semi-evergreen foliage of the acabea vine remains very attractive with lush, oblong leaves, usually grouped in leaflets of five. The other common name for this plant is five-leaf acabea. Not only does the vine add beauty to the landscape, it also produces an edible fruit. A cold hardy relative of the plant that produces supermarket kiwi fruit, hardy kiwi vine is grown for its distinctive foliage. There are two species that are known as hardy kiwi, both produce edible fruit, but A. colomicta is the species with variegated foliage, while A. arguda is a less vigorous grower. The flowers of kiwi vine are small, but they produce a fragrance similar to lilies of the valley. Hardy kiwi vines are dioecious, meaning that male and female flowers occur on separate plants. To produce fruit, you'll need one male plant for every three to four female plants. The plants are sexed by the seller. A. Colomicta can grow 30 feet or more, while A. arguda generally stays to 20 feet or less. These plants grow by means of a twining growth habit. There are over 400 species of passion flower in the genus, most of which are tender tropical evergreens. Passiflora incarnata, also known as maypop, is a deciduous species native to the southeast U.S., and it can actually survive a bit of time in freezing temperatures. Purple passion flower is a semi-woody vine with large serrated leaves. It clings to supports with tendrils. These vines are prized for their complex and exotic-looking flowers. Many cultivars are available in a wide variety of colors. It grows 15 to 20 feet, and is sometimes grown in pots in order to overwinter the plants indoors. The vines produce an edible fruit. Trumpet vine is a native southeastern U.S. plant, with its summer flowers much loved by hummingbirds and butterflies. It is widely adaptable to both heat and cold extremes, and it has been been an especially popular choice for northern gardeners. But be forewarned, it can easily become an aggressive grower, spreading by rhizomes and popping up in the lawn and nearby garden beds. In some areas, it is considered invasive, so check before planting. It climbs by means of aerial rootlets. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.